Welcome back. I'm Rachel. And I'm Kathy. And today we're reviewing some of the Aluma products. Right. We've done the Aluma Bowl. Right. It's the projector ones. That's right. Into the toilet. And it looks like they're coming out with a whole line of products yes. now. The Aluma sink, the Aluma soap, the, the Aluma shower. shower. I just sent that to Kathy yesterday. Um, but light up things. So I don't know about the practicality of all of these. I but I know it's fun. I know. And my kids think they're really cool too. But so. I guess if you're Want a nightlight in the toilet? That's when right. You go, and then yeah. you need a nightlight for your sink. Right. Or soap. You need to get and soap. Your soap. But it says it's, it's a, this one is the Luma soap. It's the light up soap, soap dispenser. It's motion activated with three brightness levels. It says no more blinding midnight lights, mm. stumbling in the dark, or forgetting to wash hands. Okay. Um, it's got eight colors. You can set your favorite or rotate through them. Okay. And it takes... So this, you said it's motion activated. It says motion activated. Okay, so it's motion activated to come on, not motion activated when you put your hand under it. I would assume so, yes. Okay. It's a pump. But I don't know. That's why we're reviewing it, yes. so we can see we can what it does. Out. Um, And then this was, I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was $19.99. Don't forget your coupons when you do that. And, uh, remember, you can use more than one coupon at a time for each item. That's right. And if they're expired, that You can use them too. No problem. So, here we go. The directions are down here in the so bottom. Yeah, it's a pump, so it's not a... Yeah, no, it's not an automatic um, dispenser. My first... My first two cents on this, um, this is pretty cheaply made, it feels like. I mean... I mean, it's, yeah, it doesn't have batteries in it yet either, so... No, but just the feel, I, I don't know, this just feels kind of dollar store. Let's see, so it just tells you how to put the batteries in. So three... Remove battery cover, three AAA, AAA, replace the cover, remove the pump head, insert gel soap, replace pump head, turn out the lights. Oh, to oh, set a single we color. Turn on all our lights. I don't know. We have a lot of lights going on today. That's right. It's cloudy today. <laughs> turn out to set a single color. Press the button in when the desired color is visible. To set color, rotate press button again, and a Luma soap will automatically rotate between oh, the so colors. This is... So that one's the color. Yeah, you pick the color. Dead batteries. How do I turn? No, on? they're brand new batteries. It says just push it. Is it because it's not dark? Yeah, that's. Is it changing? Hold on. Let's go try it in the dark and see. Okay, so we took it into the pantry to make sure it works before we fill it up. But we're going to take it in the bathroom and see what it does in there. But yeah, we're going to fill it up. I'm going to let Kathy do that because she's a little neater than I am. Oh, that's good. That's good. Put that back in there. Oh, <laughs> and it says it's kind of like the ones at the store open and stop. So, what? But seriously, the feel, I mean, it the, does the feel coating kinda on it is cheap. What was it? Oh, there we go. What was the price? It was $19.99. So, okay, so I am twisting that. There we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. There we got it. <laughs> Just keep working with it. You'll yeah. eventually get it to twist off. Okay. All right. So we'll take it into the bathroom and give it a shot. Okay. So we're going to see if the Alumas, Aluma soap has gone off and if it's going to come on. Ready, Kathy? And it just came on. Okay. So it says that's your color. We'll see right now it's changing color. So when it gets to the color you want, you're supposed to press in the button. And then it has the different levels of brightness. So it says it's supposed to stay on that color. So we'll see. So that's the different levels. And it's starting to change. Yeah. Or, I know. It's weird how it's showing up on camera because that's yeah. not really how it looks. Let's see if I can get it better. It's like it looks like it's flickering, but it's, it's really not. not. It's just a solid light. And I did, oh. and it. I'll just push it one time at a time, and let's see if it stays. Did that do it? 
I mean, I just, I didn't hold it till it changed levels. Okay, so let's let it go. Okay. Do you want it green? Okay, it's bluish purple. Okay. I'm going to push that and see if it stays there. I think it's staying. And that's just a quick press in. Like if you push it too long, it'll cycle through the different levels. Right. So I guess the bottom line is you pick a color, it's that level. But right. if you want it to be brighter or darker, it shows all the colors, I guess. Oh. Or maybe you adjust the level, let it cycle through, then push the button. Right. To the level. Okay. Yeah. Let's push it again. Let it go. Okay. I kind of like the rotating colors. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's going to turn the light on. Yeah. I think, if it, I think if it was the same color all the time, it would... Boring. Yeah. Like, the kids would ignore it. <laughs> but at least this way it's... Going through the Yeah. So this would be eight different colors? Yes. All right. Why don't you turn the light on and see how that... Well, see. All right. You're in the dark. Could you mm -hmm. get the soap in the dark here? Yeah. Is that enough light? That is enough light. Yeah. It's enough please, light. Please don't splash water here. <laughs> so that's enough light. So yeah. So you can uh, turn it on and it goes off. It goes off. Okay. So it shuts off after forty-two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy sat there patiently and waited right. and timed it. Okay. So after we got it figured out how to set it. Yes. I think I think we figured it out. We think. So once it gets to the level, you just push the button in, and it's just sticks. a quick little push, push in. If you hold it too long, it adjusts the levels, and, and it then it'll, it'll keep cycles cycling through. So I think maybe you pick the intensity level, low, medium, high, the brightness level, and then you let, let it, it cycle it. through. Then you push the button real quick, and then that the sets it. Button, right. Then push it again, it's going to cycle. So you can just leave it cycling. Yeah. Through, which I agree. I think I like that better. It's a little cool. Yeah. Plus, I think that if it's always the same color, like if you're trying to get your kids to remember to wash their hands, I think they'll just ignore it. Right. So just at like least if it's dispenser. cycling through, yeah, yeah, you know, maybe it'll catch their attention for a while. Okay. Um, so I think it's cute. Um, I'm never going to wear straps again. <laughs> Sorry. For the, I think it's overpriced. Uh, yeah, I would expect having to go through that difficulty to set a color on a $9.99 product, yeah, not a $19.99 product. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think for that, $9.99 want... would be an all right price because it's not like this is no. chrome or anything. No, it's, it's, it's plastic. It's plastic. It's, you know, I mean, plastic. I guess then you wouldn't have to worry because it's not going to get broken and hurt anyone That's in the bathroom. That's I'm not saying I want glass, but, it just but it's feels like this cheap. is not even, it's like, no, it's like sprayed or coated. How yeah. do you coat plastic in this I color? don't see it lasting very long, so... Yeah, especially, you know, if you have a bunch of kids using it. Yeah. So, with this one, Rachel also reviewed at home. She installed the, the Illuma sink. sink. This one fit. So, look. It's like a happy medium there. Now one thing I will note is it has splashed at full force to get the steady light. It has splashed all around the bathroom sink. So that I'm not too happy with. So it took me a few minutes to figure My husband helped me. Um, he helped loosen up the faucet that was on there, the little sprayer nozzle. And after that, it was fairly easy to remove that yourself. Um, what I didn't remember is that my husband had put a restrictor on the water flow because we have a shallow depth sink. So when we put the Illuma sink in, 
it's just splashing water everywhere. But it did change colors like it was supposed to. Right. When it well, got too hot, you know, it flashed, it turned red. When it was just right, it was green or it was blue. It was primarily red or blue. Getting it right. to just right was kind of difficult. So I would tell my kids to do blue, <laughs> blue or green. And you might say, okay, it's spraying too hard, turn it down. But when you turn right. it down, it doesn't light up. That's right. It kind of flickers, flickers. like there's not enough force going so that's through kind of the weird. faucet. That's kind so, of weird to me. Yeah, I mean that wasn't. And how much was that one? That one was nine ninety nine, and both of these products were at Bed Bath. So and those, I mean, you should buy them together for nineteen. <laughs> right, right. My kids thought it was real. Thought the faucet was really, really cool. They're right. like, oh, it lights up. Oh, it's a different color. So yeah. I don't know how long it will be before that novelty light falls. Right. You know. Well, I would be worried they would be going to the bathroom. They would like shut the door to go to the bathroom in the dark all the time. <laughs> so wash their hands and then. And that with boys just makes a bigger mess. Yeah, because course. they're. I mean, it's some light, but it's not enough for, you know, they That's right. well, light on, they But then the you mess. need the Illuma bowl to right. so provide light a light. Whole That's battery. right. <laughs> With batteries. Yeah. Anyway. I, I think they're a cute idea. They are. I just, I would rather see something besides the plastic that was Or if it's going to be this plastic, make it cheaper. Because I think that's a Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it's pretty, I think it was pretty cool. Um, and I totally lost my train of <laughs> What I was going to say about it. Come back to it. I'll, I'll come back. Um, one of the things that it, the way that it comes out of the package, it's got an adapter so that it fits most sinks. Well, when we removed the first one, and I don't know if Kathy will include it or not, but I tried to do <laughs> the wrong size in the hole. So if it's, if it feels like it's too loose and it's not going to catch, well, you need to take it back out and unscrew the adapter and then use that one. I thought that if I undid that one, it would not make it work. It has nothing to do with it. So, so oopsie. So hopefully that will help someone if you want to install it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so, I mean, they're cute. I'll give them yeah. a thumbs up for that. For yeah. the price, I'm giving them a thumbs down. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think you could sell both for that price. Yeah. Um, for 19 I put them together. Sell them as a package. But, so. they're, but they're cute. Yeah. It's just it's just something, a novelty. Right. Right. So that could for be the, someone that has For someone that has it all. So. Right. Anyway, if you've tried the Aluma Bowl, the Aluma Soap, or the Aluma Sink. Or the shower. That's right. Let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That's right. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell That's to right. get notifications. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>